In this lecture, we are going to learn what is a getter and setter method for a class in TypeScript. Now, getter and setter is nothing new. This concept already exists in vanilla JavaScript. And just like how we use getter and setter in JavaScript, in the same way, we can also use it in TypeScript. So let's understand what is this getter and setter method and what do we use it for? So here I have created a class called person. In this class, I have a public property called name. So let me also specify this public access modifier explicitly. And then we also have this private property called underscore age. Now the value of this private property, this age property can be either a numeric value or it can be null. So initial value of this age property is null. Now let me go ahead and let me create an instance of this person object. So let's create a variable. Let's simply call it as person equals new. And we are calling the constructor of the person class. And when we are calling the constructor of the person class, we need to pass a value for this name parameter. So here let's pass name as John. Okay. Now let's say I want to read the value of this age property. Now outside of this class, outside of this person class, we cannot access this age property because it is a private property. So we have learned that private property can be accessible only inside the class where we have defined it. We have defined this age property, which is a private property inside this person class. So it can be accessed only inside this person class. Outside of this person class, we cannot access it. If I try to access it, on this person object you see we have an error and it says age is a private and only accessible within the class person so we cannot access it because age is a private property so what we can do is for this age property we can set a getter okay and using that getter we can access we can read the value of this age property and to create a getter we use this get keyword first and then we specify a name for the getter. I'm simply going to call it as age. And we create this getter property like a method. So here you see, I am also specifying a set of parentheses and then a set of curly braces. Now, from here, we can simply say return this dot underscore age. So now this age is a getter property. And using this getter property, we can read the value of this private age property. So here now, instead of calling underscore age, we can call age. And when we are calling this age, we need to use it like a property and not like a method. So here we don't need to call it using a set of parentheses. This is wrong because even though we have defined this age as a method, but this age is a property. It is a get a property so we need to access it like a property and not like a method with this if we save the changes you will see that null is logged here because the current value of age is null so that has been logged here now what i want is if the value of age is null we will return an error saying that age is not defined but if the value of the age is not null in that case only we will return the age value so we can write that condition inside this getter before returning the value of age property. And this is the advantage of using a getter. Here, before returning the value of a private property, we can check for some condition. So here we will check if this dot underscore age, if it is not equal to null, in that case, we will return this dot age. So let me cut it from here and let's paste it inside this if statement. Otherwise, what we will do is we will simply throw an error. So here we will say throw new error. And in the error message, we will say age is not defined for person. And then let's append the name of the person. So here let's say this dot name. Okay. With this, if I save the changes now, and when the application compiles, you see, since the age is null, we have received this message, this error message, age is not defined for the person, John. But if this value is not null, let's say if it is 60, now if I save the changes, it should return 60 and that should be logged here. So using a getter, we can create a get property using which we can access a private property. In this case, we are creating a getter age property 
using which we can access this private underscore age property outside of this person class. And before returning the value for this age property, we can also check for some condition and based on that condition, we can return a value. Here we are checking if the age is not equal to null, then only return the value of age property. Otherwise, if the age is null, return an error to the user. All right. So here, let me again set it back to null. Now, just like how we can read the value of a private property using get method, this getter, in the same way, we can also set the value for a private property using setter. So to create a getter, we use get keyword. And to create a setter, we can use set keyword. And then we can specify a name. Here, the name can be same as getter. So this setter, I also am calling it as age. And using this setter, we are going to set the value for this private age property. And again, we need to create it like a method. Okay. And this setter method, it is going to receive a value. And let's specify the value as number. So when a user will try to set a value for this underscore age property, he should always pass a numeric value. That's what we are setting here. Okay. Now inside this, what we are going to do is we are simply going to say this dot underscore age equals the value which we are receiving for the setter. So using this set method, we can set a value for the private age property. Let's check that. So before this console.log statement, what we will do is we will say this dot age okay, equals 90. Sorry, it should be person dot age equals 90. So here we are trying to set a value for the age property. In this case, this setter will be called. Okay, and it will set the value of underscore age property to the value which we are passing to it. This 90 will be assigned to this value property. So that 90 will be assigned to it. After that, at this line, we are trying to read the value of the age property. So in this case, when we say person dot age, since we are trying to read the value of the age property, it is going to call this getter method, this get method. Okay, so with this, let's save the changes. You see, it has logged 90. So at this line, we have set the age property to 90 using this setter. And at this line, we are reading the value of age property using this getter. Now here in the setter also, before setting a value for a private property, we can check for some condition. For example, here what we can do is we can check if value is greater than zero, then only we want to set the age to the value which we are receiving. If the value is zero or a negative value, we should not be setting age to a negative value, right? So we can set the age as zero. That is okay because the age of a person can be zero years old. So we will allow setting the age as zero. But if the value is a negative value, let's say minus 10 or minus 20, this age should not be set with a negative value. So before setting the age, we are checking for a condition. If that condition returns true, then only we are going to set the value of this private property. Otherwise, what we will do is we will again throw a new error. And here we will simply say error cannot be a negative value. Sorry, age cannot be a negative value. Okay, let's save the changes. So when we are setting this age to 90, you see, 90 has been set for the age property and it has been logged using this line. Now, if I try to set the age as minus 10, let's save the changes. In this case, it should throw an error. Age cannot be a negative value. So this is the use of getter and setter. Okay, using the setter method, we can set the value for a private property. Now, for this private property, if I set only a getter and not a setter, in that case, this property will be a read-only property because we can only read its value using this getter, but we cannot set a value for it. But if we specify both getter and setter, in that case, that property becomes a read and write property. We can read its value using the getter 
and we can set a value for it using this setter. So it becomes read and write property. But for a property, if we only specify a setter and not a getter, in that case, that property is write only property. We can set a value for that property, but we cannot read its value. All right. Now, since we are talking about getter and setter, I also want to talk about one more concept related to this getter and setter, and that is computed properties. So what I will do is for now, I will simply comment this code here. And now let's go and let's create a class and let's call this class circle. In this class, I'm going to have one private property and let's call this private property radius okay and it is going to be of type number all right now for this radius property in order to read the value of this radius property we can create a getter for that we use get keyword and let's simply call it as radius again when we create a getter we create it as a method and from here we are going to return this dot underscore radius and here we need to use return keyword okay in the same way we can also set a setter using this set keyword to set the value of this radius property and here we will receive a value you can name this anything but i'm simply calling it as value and it is going to be of type number so here we are simply going to set this dot underscore radius equal to that value now so these are normal getter and setter properties but now we can also create a computed property based on this private property so for example let's say we have this getter to get the radius value and this setter to set the radius value in the same way we can also create properties so for example i'm going to create a getter property and i'll call it diameter and to get the diameter we can simply return this dot underscore radius multiplied by so here we are creating a property called diameter which we are computing based on this radius property so this diameter property here it is a computed property okay in the same way we can also set its value so you can say set diameter and here we will receive a value of type number and here what we will do is when the value for the diameter will be passed when we are setting the value for the diameter since we don't have any actual diameter property here for this circle class we have a radius property we will set the value of this radius property based on the value which we are receiving for the diameter property so here we can simply say this dot underscore radius equals value divided by two because diameter will be always twice the radius right so the radius will be always the half of diameter so these two properties here these are computed properties we are computing them based on this radius property this is all from this lecture i hope from this lecture now you know what a getter and setter is and when we use a getter and setter and how we can use it if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day